Time for the Hennessy Gold Cup then next. This is one of my favourite races of the year, as everybody knows. And good big field for it again. And let's take a look. Three and a quarter miles, grade three handicap. And at the top we've got Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg, Lords Kestrel, David Robertson, Edmund, John Morgan, Q Card, David Hooley, Bridged Cape, Darren Thompson, Twisted Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Green Tea, David Hooley, Runner on Empty for Craig Allen, Come on Blue Chip, Stu Gray, Crimson Flowers, John Morgan, Bucko, Martin Leadham, Chili Bang Certain, Thomas Rogers, Boomerang Aman, and Lawn Tennis for Graham Clitterbuck, and Ozark Rival for Vinnie Gerrard. So 15 then. Facing the startup, and away we go. And heading towards the first of the fences in the rain and it's Chili Bang Certain on the inside who leads him into that first ditch which they've all safely got over they've got 19 more fences to take and it's Chili Bang Certain right over on the far side is clear by three lengths to the John Morgan pair Edmund and Crimson Flowers who are second and third then the Grey Lord Tennis over on the inside was fourth is now been overtaken by another Grey Lord's Kestrel so four or three Greys in this then all pretty close to the four at the moment, but it's Chili Bang Certain who's got the lead as they get to the third, which they're all safely over again. And you can lead belonging to Chili Bang Certain by about four lengths, then Crimson Flowers, the first of the John Morgans, is in second. Uh, Leon Van Rensburg Stone of Legends is next with Green Tea on its inside as they take the fourth. A bit of a mistake there. That was by Twisted Road, the second of Leon Van Rensburg's charges, which is now drop back towards the back. The back marker at this early point in the race is Bridged Cape but it's Chili Bang Certain then who leads the Hennessy field by about five lengths to Crimson Flowers and Edmund are running wide on the track then comes Lawn Tennis and Green Tea together with just tucked in behind them Stone of Legends, Lord's Kestrel going the shortest way around. Bucko he is next in the maroon jacket with next to him in the purple jacket Q card then comes Come On Blue Chip and Runner on Empty on the inside as they get to this play one this is the fifth Oops, they're all safely over again. Ozark Rival now just the back marker. But they're all nicely grouped. With the exception of this leader, Chili Bang Certain is going to six or seven length lead. From Edmund and Crimson Flowers, second and third. Then Lawn Tennis is fourth. As they get to the sixth. And a mistake this time was by Crimson Flowers. Edmund is now left a clear second. Bucko just momentarily hitting the main body of the field to go into third as they take that ditch, which they're all safely over Twisted Road a little bit slow towards the back. It's just about the back marker. But it's Chili Bank Certain who continues to show the, uh, show the way. Ooh, made a mistake there though, went right through that one. Seem to have lost too much impetus though, and still going nicely. Good four or five lengths clear of Bucko's move through into second now. Jump that one well. And uh, on the inside, runner on empty. Edmund on the outside is fourth. Then comes Q Card and Stone of Legends. Come on, Blue Chip. The one wide on the track closest to us in the black with the green sash is getting much closer as well. They come past the screen then and they take the water, which hopefully won't be the last next time around. Although I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be. And Chili Bang Certain. He's in the lead. From runner on empty second, Bucko third. Then comes Bridge Cape and Edmund. With Stone of Legends after that one. And come on, Blue Chip as they race downhill and start to turn left handed. I'll take this next one. This is fence number 11 of the 20. And Chili Bank certain led over it from runner on empty second and Bucko third. In Bridge Cape and Edmund, Lord Tennis, Corn, Blue Chip, and Crimson Flowers. And Lord's Kestrel. Still going well on the inside. Green Tea's just dropped him back a little bit. And has now got a share of last place with Twisted Road. As they take that ditch and Bucko's gone. And Bucko crashes out there. That's fine edge. And it's Chili Bank Certain who's left in the lead. By about five lengths. That's over that one nicely. He's run on empty over it in second. And Lord Kestrel, who's moving up on the outside, gone past Edmund. That's one of the two of them now starting to jockey for position. 
with Chili Bang certainly leading by probably two lengths to Lord's Kester as they get over this next one. Edmund's over it nicely as well and has now regained second. Then Crimson Flowers were empty still there on the inside. Lawn Tennis is still nicely placed. Stone of Legends has now got the inside berth as well. Green Tea is just about in the back marker as they take number 15. And it's still Chili Bang certain. In the lead by about three lengths to Edmund in second. Lawn Tennis on the inside is third. Lord's Kestrel is fourth. Stone of Legends getting much closer now. Run on empty. Just drop back a little bit. It's still wide open this one. Julie Bang certain by two. Lawn Tennis has gone back into second. Edmund is third. Stone of Legends is fourth. Then Twisted Road is getting much closer now after being right out the back. And that one's creeping ominously closer as they get over number 16. And over that one, Chili Bang Certain continues to lead, but now being chased by Ozark Rival and Twisted Road, who are both out the back early on. Lawn Tennis and Edmund are next. Boomerang Amman is now getting a first mention. Then comes Crimson Flowers and Q-Card. Stone of Legends just, just lost his place when they're turning by and they got four to take. And Chili Bank certain is being pressed by Ozark Rival and Twisted Road. Oh, that one, Ozark Rival might have just landed in the lead. Twisted Road now got up on the outside to challenge. These two have gone past Chili Bank certain. Edmund is still there in fourth. Then Lawn Tennis. Q card trying to run on. So is Boomerang Amad over the third last. That's the final ditch. It's Ozark Rival in the lead from Twisted Road. Then comes Chili Bank certain. Q card is getting much closer on the outside. Looks a big danger. They've got two to take. And it's Ozark Rival in the lead from Twisted Road in second. Q card is next. Over it they Go, and Twisted Road has landed in the lead. Twisted Road from Ozark Rival, Q Card Edmund, and then Chili Bank certain they race down towards the final fence. It's Ozark Rival who's gone back into the lead again. Ozark Rival got over they all jumped in badly. And it's Ozark Rival in front now being pressed by Q Card. And Q Card goes into the final furlong. He's having a ding dong battle with Ozark Rival. Ozark Rival in the green, Q Card in the purple. It's Q Card closest to us. Ozark Rival on the far side. It's gonna be Q Card just. And as they race up towards the line, it's gonna be Q Card that takes it. But now Ozark rival fights back and beats him on the line and Chili Bang certain running on again and dramatic finish it looked as though Q Guard had got it on but Ozark rival fought back and took it by a head in the end in a thrilling finish and they didn't jump the water for the last so well done whoever did that race running and Ozark rival Maybe a surprise winner of the Hennessy for Vinnie Gerard. So who's that rather the winner for Vinnie Gerard? Cue card for David Hooley was second. Edmund for John Morgan third. Chili Bank certain was fourth for Thomas Rogers and Boomerang Amon for Graham Clitterbuck was fifth.